guys welcome today we will be talking about how to create a yellow nas model for custom data set yellow nas is the latest algorithm in the yellow series and this is developed by desi ai so this is their website you can visit their website to get more information related to yellow nas as you can see here they have created a graph uh, this is a comparison between yellow nas and other yellow model available you can see we have yellow v8 v7 v5 v6 as you can see your NAS it is giving good accuracy and it is taking less time for inferencing so this is a good model if you uh, if you compare this graph and uh, we'll see how how it works then this is the official github repo for your NAS model so this is the github repo and you can see a bunch of commands then see a bunch of instruction here please go through the github repo and the official website to get uh, more information now for our exercise we'll be creating a notebook where uh, we'll be seeing how to train Yolona's model on custom data set and for this exercise we'll be using this data set so this is a data set it has classes like uh, sunglasses hat jacket shirts pants shorts skirt dress bag and shoe so if you open level img and you can see the annotation file so this is the data set you can see here now download the data set from this link and then upload everything to your google drive so here you can see like i have created a folder that is yellow nurse and under this i have uh, three folders here data test and training backup so within data i have uploaded everything that we have uh, downloaded from this link so download the data from here upload everything here then within test folder uh, I have some images for testing and then within this uh, training backup we have a sub folder that is the LONAS L E5 this folder will be created during training and all the training logs all the training uh, weight will be saved here so I'll be showing you how to do that now let's go back okay so this is our notebook and I have opened it here you can see so here I have given the links to data set the github repo and this is the uh, model zoo so you can get uh, you can get different different models here now after this, this is the same comparison graph that we have seen earlier here I'm checking like our kind of GPU that is being allocated to me and uh, to this notebook then here we are installing everything that I record for uh, Euronas and it will download everything and it will install everything you can see here if it asks for restart then do the restart runtime and then uh, run the notebook again after that here we are installing uh, TQDM for progress bar now after that here we are connecting our collab with our Google Drive so connect to Google Drive and it will ask for permission give the permission and it will connect with the google drive you can see okay it is connected now now here we are giving the path for training validation and testing images we'll be using this training directory and validation directory to create separate directory that means we'll be taking images from this folder and we'll be putting all those images into this directory so this function will do that so basically what we are doing here like we are taking the data the whole data and then we are splitting into 80 and 20 split so let's run the command okay now process started it will copy from uh, image, uh, images from this folder you can see this directory is being created so within this train folder we have images and labels and within this images folder we have images and within this label folder we have all the labels so we are taking data from this folder and we are creating this multiple folders guys I have already done this I have already used this notebook to create uh, to create this folder and to create these models so we won't be uh, we won't be waiting for this and we'll be moving forward now after this after this is being done here we'll be importing this data loader from super gradient and here we'll be providing the same directory for data so this is the data directory and this is the image directory for training this is the image directory for validation 
and this is the directory for testing and here we are providing our class names and we got these names from this link you can see here so after this after setting the parameters here then here we are uh, we are setting up some other parameters like uh, what kind of model we are using so here we are using yellow nas l and then we are setting off cuda device here if cuda is available that means gpu is available otherwise it will take cpu then here uh, we will be taking the max batch that is 8 and then here we are giving the epoch size so we will be training uh, we will be training the model for 5 number of epochs and then this is the directory we have given where we will be storing our training backup file so this is nothing but this folder you can see this training backup drive yolonas training backup you can see drive yolonas training backup and within that we have a subfolder that is yolonas l e5 so this is the subfolder if you give the folder name here and it will create the subfolder inside this training backup and inside this subfolder it will store all the uh, weight file you can see here and all the logs here uh, we are creating the data loader you can see and we are using uh, values from this parameter you can see train image directory class names and then uh, this is the validation data loader this is the test data loader so after that it will cache the data uh, into ram you can see here then after that here we are performing some transformations on our training data and after that here this is the visualization uh, after the transformation you can see here we are instantiating the model here we are loading the model so we are like uh, model architecture that is we have set to uh, yellow nas l here you can see then it is loading the model here and it is setting up the you know number of classes here and here we are saying like okay we'll be downloading the coco words and we'll be pre-training the coco words on our data that's what we are uh, we are setting up here and it will download the coco words from the link and it will insert the model after that here we are setting off uh, several other hyperparameters as you can see like you know silent mode average based models uh warm up mode a uh, learning rate mode uh learning rate mode initial learning rate optimizer you can see mixed precision loss uh, you can see that metric was so we will be focusing on map at the end point five for our model evaluation so these are the bunch of uh, hyperparameters we have set here if you want to know more about this hyperparameter you can click on this link so uh, it has all the information about hyperparameter and modify the hyperparameter according to your usage after that here we are setting up our tensor board you can see all the graphs here during training make sure you run this command before setting up the training command so this is the training command you can see make sure you run the tensor board command before that hence it will uh, do the logging automatically and then here we are running the training command you can see so this is summary of epoch 1 summary of epoch 2 you can see all bunch of parameters all bunch of uh, values here so this is num epoch number 3 we have set training for five number of epochs and this is the uh, this is the summary after after epoch 5 now here we are loading our model so here you can see we are not loading the base model instead of we are loading an average model after this test you will be getting all these files so this is the uh, latest weight this is the best weight and this is the average model weight that means it takes average of last best weight and it creates a single best way if you want to know more about that then click on this link and you can see like it is util class for managing the averaging of base several snapshots into a single model that means it was uh, it is taking like uh, previous base weights and it is creating an average best weight uh, out of that then after that here we are loading that average weight you can see so you can do the testing by using this command i didn't use because it was taking too much time i did use uh, the testing on a single image you can see so if you want to do uh, testing on a single image you can just give the uh, give the directory of that image to this best model dot function 
and then it, it, it put uh, dot show on top of that and it will do the prediction and it will plot bounding boxes and it will show the result just like this so you can see after training for only five number of epochs this is the model prediction you can see this is very good so after that here we are doing some other prediction and visualization so this is the library uh this is the library to visualize and compare results with annotation so basically we'll be using this library and this code snippet to visualize our results like this so this is the original data and this was the annotated data you can see and this is the model prediction and this was the annotated data and this was the model prediction and same here you can see we have a good result here not good result it is like okay we have good result here not here it is missing some boundary marks here and same here this is the result after five number of epochs to get a better model i would suggest uh train the model for more number of epochs give it time and it will uh, it will find the best way for your project so this is it guys this is how uh, we can train your lonas model for custom data set and how we can save all the data set uh, uh, on our google drive so you don't have to uh, you know copy the weight from collab into google drive you can directly uh, download the weight from here if you have any doubts uh, please mention those in comments i will try to uh, solve those i hope this was helpful if so please like subscribe and share i will see you in the next video till then take care